Hello everybody and welcome back to another exciting episode of Karamacraft. Now you guys may be noticing that quite a few things in the surroundings are different and that's very true. Uh, also Skittles V2, you guys won't understand that. I'll explain it later. <laughs> Anyways, so uh, I have been doing a lot of stuff off camera and you are about to see pretty much all of it. So. I have prepared a very, very, very long, tiring day of speed ups, which I could live stream in the future if you guys would like that instead. So make sure if you do want to see it as a live stream in the future to leave that as a comment down below. But uh, I've been spending all day today, and I mean all day, probably about six hours of playtime on here organizing, changing everything up, getting everything else situated, and you are about to see exactly how that process goes, with the exception of anything that doesn't need to be shown. So the speed up should be right around 10 to 15 minutes long. Uh, I will have music overlaid courtesy of Approaching Nirvana, and I hope that you guys enjoy. If you don't want to see this in the future, like I said, make sure to leave it down below in the comments. And if you would rather see it as a live stream, then go ahead and post that down in the comments. So really quickly, let's go ahead and get into this. Okay guys, so you may be noticing that I have 29 levels and I have nothing in my inventory and everything looks way different. Well, you would be completely right. Let's go ahead and open up this and you will see I now have a custom sword. Uh, I have a custom axe, a shovel, a nice pickaxe It really needs to use its ability to regenerate health, an excavator, and a hammer. And I will get into what those do in another episode, probably next episode, and I'll teach you guys some more things about Tinker's Construct. But let's go ahead and see the finished product of this before you guys even see any of the work that goes into it. So if you guys are coming directly from last episode, you will notice that there has been a big change in what this place looks like. So this is the basement to me and my brother's house, this trailer style thing that we have. And let's go ahead and take a quick walk down here and see what everything looks like. So down here he has started a mine. Um, this hallway looked a lot different before and so did this whole hub area. Down there is a big dark place with baddies roaming around. It isn't done yet, but down here is a mine and down here is the access to our smeltery. So this is just pretty much some of the stuff that I've been working on. I mined that whole area out as a, it is a massive room, probably going to be a farm or something of that sort. But anyway, this is what the finished product is going to look like. This is going to be pretty much the same style that we're going to be keeping up with. I would have liked the ceiling to be maybe one higher, and I may do that in the future just to match all the rooms, but who knows. Uh, leave some comments if you think I should. Anyways, I also organized all of our chests, and they're not done. I still have like two chests over here that are full of stuff, and I need to obviously set all these up, but I did do quite a bit, as you guys can see in this chest here, and the dirt cobblestone is completely full and so on and so forth down the line of all these things such as like our diamonds and stuff 35 diamonds and all these so we're doing pretty good on that in the worst front here anyways go ahead and leave some comments down below if you guys don't enjoy what is to follow because now you are going to see the whole uh what would be a long process for me and a pretty short process for you isn't that right skittles it's gonna be pretty enjoyable for him it's gonna have some nice music Thanks to approaching Nirvana. Huh, isn't that right, buddy? Yeah, you're Skittles number two, because Skittles number one disappeared, and I'll explain that in the next episode, you guys. Anyways, hopefully you enjoyed the episode to follow, and a like is always appreciated if you guys do.